Hello everyone. I am Chef Pranav Bhatt, appointed as assistant professor in the School of Hospitality, Chitkare University, Punjab. In today's video session, we will discuss about a topic that is bread. Bread, a word of many meanings, a symbol of giving, a common food to many countries. But what is a science behind baking a bread and preparing a soft texture bread? And what is the history? And what are the various breads which are being prepared by various bakeries, we will discover and we will learn about all the aspects related to the bread. Let's start. After completion of this video session, you will learn and develop clarity about fundamental of bread making and following topics are changed in the session. We will discuss about the introduction, we will discuss about the history of bread making, we will discuss about the type of dough, we will also discuss the role and role of ingredients which are being used for making bread. We will also understand the principles of bread making, the various methods which has been used for making bread. We will also discuss the steps involved in bread making. We will also discuss the basic faults which are there in bread making. And yes, we will also discuss the various types of bread which are available in the market. Bread making can be said an art which is carried out scientifically. And to prove that we have a leavened bread in which the action of yeast gives bread its characteristics, texture and flavor. But grain based bread was the most staple food in human diet since prehistorical period and in simplest form bread is wheat flour and water mixed together to form dough and usually baked. But what is the definition? According to me, bread is food made from flour and wafer dough with yeast, which is fermented, kneaded, and baked in oven. Scientifically, it is leavened with yeast, and yeast grows and splits the sugar that are present to form carbon dioxide that expand the dough as the as the dough bakes and the gluten and starch present in the dough become firm on baking and we have bread. Bread is the only food which is like wine is present on the table from start to finish of any of the meal. Bread constitutes the traditional accompaniment to all the dishes. Let us talk about the history of bread making. But there is not any evidence which said that the bread is being originated from any place and there is not an evidence that first bread was prepared over any of the countries or areas. But yes, it is in my belief that the domestication and cultivation of wheat, grain and other grains directly influence human tradition transition from nomadic people to domesticated stationary people. The archaeobotanical evidence reveals that the origin of bread is about 14,400 years ago. And some residue are discovered in Northern Jordan on this reference. The earliest bread were more like portrait and flat cakes of wheat grain were, which were washed with water or milled and were eaten raw or cooked on a sun heat. After some time, these cakes were cooked on hot flat rocks and flat bread was the first which was cooked and yes, the Asian breads are called as the oldest among the others. It almost took 7,000 years when the first leavened bread was made, discovered after the first flat bread was made. And who were they? The Egyptians. The invention of leavened bread is attributed to the Egyptians who cooked flat cakes made of millet and barley on heated stones. They I hope 
by chance discovered a piece of dough which was left over and had become soft and the wonderful fermented smell would have encouraged them to bake it the greek bake on grits in an oven like structure roman cooks their bread in a household oven made of brick and earth it was in the middle ages that the bakery trade began to develop and bread become very varied and very different kind of breads were produced from italy the use of bread is spread throughout the roman empire and you also will be knowing that gaul need ale into dough and obtain a well raised bread of good quality in 17th century the new method of fermentation were developed using milk salt and beer to manufacture finer loaves made in long molds during french revolution in 1789 fred the baker and pastry chef who had been servant or royalty and nobility to start the first business and it was the starting of your modern baking in 1840 venice bread was introduced in france by jo and he created the first bakery using venice method now we are discussing about the various type of yeast dough which are which are been used in modern bakeries the first one is rich yeast bake dough the second is lean yeast dough and the third is rolled in yeast dough products now what is rich yeast dough rich yeast dough are the dough which are high in fat and sugar that means the quantity of fat and sugar is high in them and sometimes the egg is also high which makes the dough very soft the best example of this is brush lean yeast dough the lean yeast doughs are the dough which are very low in fat and sugar and yes that's why the finished product is little bit hard crust breads like french bakuti and italian pizza breads which are prepared rolling yeast doughs are the dough which are basically fat incorporated in the dough which present in the dough and it has been rolled in several layers by using a rolling and folding methods the alternate layer of fat and dough gives the big product a flaky texture examples are danish pastry and croissant thank you very much for this session this is the end of this video in our next video session we will discuss about the various ingredients used in bread making